And welcome back, you lovely words, to this, the FIFA 17 Alex Career Mode. And guys, 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 yes, yes indeed, another a second episode this weekend of the Alex Career Mode. As apologies, you know, because my work schedule has been all kind of fluky this week, I uh, wasn't able to get out a second one. So, here you guys go. Smash out them like buttons and leave a comment down below. Wish me good luck at my new job. I'm uh, going to be hosting an escape room. Yes, yes, it's, uh, it's, it's good times, it's good times, it's a fun part-time job, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, but you guys went ahead and voted, since we smashed up on Napoli in the Champions League, you were like, hey, yeah, the guess CBU is getting into good positions, but they're, they're putting it wide, they aren't putting it on target, so let's go ahead, lower, the, you know, the, oh, whoops, I went ahead and lowered the shot speed, what, I was supposed to lower the shot error, oh my god, I'm noticing this in post. I am a fool. I am a goddamn fool, guys. I totally messed it up. All right, I will go ahead and be fixing that in the next episode. This is a post cob and I just realized how freaking dumb I am. But anyway, we'll continue on with this one. Uh, fortunately, I only played two games in this episode, so nothing all too, too bad. But we're gonna go on as you can see right here. Dolberg is atop of the league, leading off with 17 goals on 16. And uh, as you can see right here, also atop of the league with assists. Very, very nice. And Onana leads the league in clean sheets. Very nice, very nice. As we go against two opponents. And to be honest, I mean, these two opponents, they, they aren't the best. They aren't the highest rated. You know, it, we're going up against the Crystal Palaces and the Sunderlands of the Eredivisie right now, so. You know, I, I, I would bid. I would have been a lot more angry with myself. I honestly, I would have probably gone back and re-recorded it uh, if I had noticed this before, and I went up in like Champions League or that kind of stuff. But since it is one of the lower tier leads, I do apologize. Hopefully, you guys, you know, are okay with this. I will fix it. Promise. You know, cross my heart. Hope to die. Um, that we do go ahead and fix it up by the next episode up against Hercules. I didn't even notice. Hercules versus Ajax 2 Greek Miss. What is up with the Eredivisie? What is up with the Netherlands and naming their stuff after, you know, Greek gods? Well, I guess Hercules really isn't a god. He's a demigod. Well, he was a half god. His father was Zeus. And then Ajax technically wasn't a god either. He was just a great warrior who participated, you know, in the, you know, you know, in the, I don't believe it was the Odyssey and like the Trojan horse and that kind of stuff. It's been a while since I've read up on you know, Greek fables or, or whatnot. But anyway, this is the starting line. Kessler, Dolberg, Leon Bailey, Adam Milson, a lot of the usual suspects in here. You know, the Donker, Ziek, Adam Milson going ahead. But man, there was one man who's been quiet for a little bit in this career mode, and he made his presence known once more, and you're gonna see it. You're gonna notice it relatively quickly. Let's see if you guys can forget it. I'm not even gonna say his name. baby! What the fuck? Okay, like, you guys can get me on the sliders and all that stuff, but it doesn't affect my shot speed, and it did not affect the keeper ability. How on two planets from Mars did that fucking go in? The keeper gets rooted to the spot. It doesn't even try. I don't even know, man. It all pawned further. I was like, why didn't you dive? Why did, are you just that shit of a keeper that your positioning's that bad, or is your awareness that bad? Were you asleep? Were you smoking, were you sipping on the scissor? And look at this, an audacious angle, by the way. But he somehow puts it on target. And this is from the keeper's point of view. I don't know, even if he dives, he gets that. <laughs> He's just like, well, today's not going to be a good day at work, is it? Nope, no, it is not. And then this is this is my favorite part of this. He goes, oh, man. Oh, I hate it when they score like that. <laughs> Yeah, good times. Good freaking times over there. Then we go ahead and steal it from Dendonker. 16 minutes in, man, and we are already on the breakaway. Pedal to the metal. It's been a while, man, since we've been this, you know, this in form and laying it off over to Ziek. And Ziek has himself a brace in under 18 minutes. I look at him. Just go ahead and play Patty Cake because this is child's play. This is absolute child's play. Oh, sad, sad Herculean fans. This is a, you know, this is a non-Greek god. This is a very, very, very mortal effort from the Hercules uh, players. And look at that. Preferred left foot goes ahead, finesses it. Far post, lovely as the... Uh, my days. My freaking days, man. As I was saying, it's been a while since we just kind of just held down a team and skull fucked the shit out of them. And... It, you know, they, there was the luck of the draw in this one. As you can see, Klaassen goes ahead, links up, playing over to the mid. Then Adam Milton flips it into the middle. Perfectly. 
somehow threads the needle in between three Hercules defenders. And all Ziyech has to do is just guide it into the back of the net for his first half hat trick. 33 minutes. And the Moroccan lovely warrior goes ahead and puts his name. Remember, he had scored, I believe he scored a first half hat trick earlier this season. It wasn't as phenomenal. I remember he scored like a banger and then like a like a 30 yard free kick. It was sensational. This, these ones were more tap -ins. The first one was ridiculous. And with his right foot. Uh, might I add, and he's, you know, I, I don't know what his, I think he's like four star weak foot, but that is ridiculous. And there you freaking go. The game is pretty much over before it even starts. And I wanted to see if there was anything going on right here. They, you know, they had opportunities over here. And you can tell me, would the shot, would the shot, you guys can see from these shots, would these shots have mattered more? if they had more power on it. And if you guys do, if you guys really do complain, I'll put up a poll right here, actually. Do you guys want me to replay these games? They are against lower tier opponents, but I just don't feel like, like I don't know if any of these shots watching it back now, if any of them were really super affected by the shot speed. And there you guys go, you know, a little good opportunity back. It was back and forth, it was more even in the second half. We just absolutely dominated in the first. Maybe, you know, mentally I took the, you know, uh, foot off the pedal, but then lovely over the top here to Leon Bailey. Goes and flips it into the Ziyech with his fourth goal of the day. And it is absolutely demolition derby day. Ziyech has pulled the pin on grenade, put it right into the mouth of Hercules. And just say goodbye, baby, and kick them and roll them down the hill. Because this, is, yes, you deserve to dab. Dab each time. Each dab is for every single one. Every single goal that you have scored today, my son. Lovely, lovely stuff. And with that, we're going to go ahead and bring in some fresh legs just to see the game out. 90th minute. Not too all, you know, not all too eventful uh, for the rest of the match. And that is it, lads. It was the ZX Show. Hope you got your money's worth. <laughs> Poor Herculean fans. But I know the Ajax kids. This kid, this kid, man. He's been quiet. He has been quiet, but when he shows up, he has the ability, much like, kind of like Coutinho at Liverpool, he has the ability to just take over a game, man, and just hold it down by its throat. And that's what he did. He just choked all the living life in the... <laughs> he, he choked the Holy Ghost out of those Hercules players, man. What a freaking day. What a freaking day. It's going to be hard to hold on to him with more performances like this. I can honestly, you know, I can honestly see Ziyech in a couple of years, moving on to one of the bigger teams, maybe in Italy, I think he could do well. Even in the Prem League, you know, maybe at a team like Southampton, he would be fantastic. Uh, you know, all those things. If Liverpool were to get rid of Coutinho, I think, you know, Ziyech could be in the, you know, I would hate that as being a Manchester United fan, but, you know, the things, the things that he can do. Dominating performance from us, six, uh, seven shots, six of them on target right here as we go ahead and try to clean up, raise up our young lads, Rossi, Getting up to the 65, or was he at 65? I want to try to get him to 70 by the end of the season. You know, have a strong base to go off of into the next one. And there you go. We further our position of wealth atop the league. You know, dominating by 12. But then this was a little bit concerning, though. Jorgensen from Feyenoord has taken the lead, scored two goals in his previous match, and Dolberg got a handful of assists. You know, right there. We're going to click over. But unfortunately, didn't find the back of the net. So that is, I mean, like... I, I feel like we're we're large and in charge in the air divisi, but that is that is now the one that I'm looking for. I want Casper to win the golden boot and really his like first year playing for Ajax. Now we're gonna go really quickly into you know our monthly scouting reports. Japan finally come through with a 79 to 94. We're gonna go ahead and sign him up. And then everybody else was kinda doo-doo butter. We're just gonna go ahead, flush him down the toilet, just like your old goldfish from when you was a kid. Or if you're still a kid, you know, you know when your goldfish seems sick? And then all of a sudden he got healthy again. Your goldfish died. I'm not going to lie to you like your parents. Your goldfish died and they just bought you a new one. So, you know, live with that. Also, Santa Claus isn't real. Neither is the tooth fairy. I had to deal with it. Get over it. All right? Get over it. Anyway, we are scouting the Netherlands. And we are going to bring in one of these lovely dovelies. All three of them have 90 potential. Potentially. Potential? What is it? Potentially 90 potential. Say that 10 times fast. And we are going to go ahead and bring in the one that was the safest bet. He had the highest in potential and the lowest, uh, he had the lowest floor. So we get two new guys in here and we will go ahead and profile them. You guys seem to really, really enjoy the uh, story 
of uh, of young Eduardo Rossi. And we have a new kid in here that's just been playing kind of quietly, but been doing pretty well. You've seen him in the previous episodes. And that is the center back Bruyne, who's at 60, but playing like at least like a 75. Would you guys, I'll uh, leave up a second poll right here. Would you guys like another story time with Blanket Monis? Yes, I am under the blanket right now. Thank you for asking. Ooh, getting cozy. It's warm. I'm sweating. I'm perspiring underneath the... Okay, I apologize. I went to Blanket Monis right there. But if you would like to see a second story time about the, you know, the tale of Bruin and how he made his way to Amsterdam, go ahead and uh, vote. From the straw poll over here, ding, it's that little eye thing. Go ahead, click on it. You voted all the polls. I always love it. I always like to see the interaction. Very high interaction, you know, for my crew modes. I don't always get the highest views, but I feel like, you know, you weirdos, you weirdos are super, super awesome. Leaving comments and always just being interacting. And that's like what it's about, man, on YouTube. I'm not going to always get, you know, it's career mode. I'm not always going to get like the highest oh, no, amount of views, no, but no, you know no. that you guys are, you know, loving the stuff. No, Much like I'm loving that. Holy cannon, a tuna! Look at this baboona! Oh, oh God! Destruction! I don't know if you could have catch that right here, but I'm gonna slow it down for y'all to just go. Everyone, everyone, get out your camera, get out your GoPros, because this, this is a man who just retired. <laughs> Look at that five hole in the fender. Casper Goldberg says, "Give me back my throne! Give me back my throne!" I am king. I am the captain now. I am the captain now. And there we go, tying himself up on top. And that's big, so he can go ahead and go in. But then look at this. What the speed of matter there? They're still kind of hitting it right at Onana. What is that in? You know, good little touch over here. And then Freddy. That one, that one, debatable. That one's debatable. Because if there was more, I would say, shot speed on that, it would have actually gone further over the post. But anyway, lovely stuff in from Klaassen, goes ahead, no touches inside, somehow bounces off of Ziyech. Stick less. I don't know if Ziyech gets the assist on that one. What the heck happened there? It was like a misplaced pass, Ziyech bounces off, bounces right back into the path of Klaassen. He snapshots it and somehow gets it past. Lovely stuff, left footed, low driven finish. How did he find the time to go ahead and get all those things? But there you go, just like that in the blink of an eye, Ajax is up 2-0. And we're going ahead and holding down an own team. Our early, our early year form is finally returning. And this is what I was kind of, this is what I wanted. Because I was scared, man. Over the last couple of episodes, our form has been dipping. I think the last episode, I think we even failed to score a goal in, in both of those games. And then we just came out with our asses on fire. And this one, the flames. The flames, man. Dolberg was angry, Klaassen was angry, Ziyech in the last one, and now Dolberg, can he go ahead, get himself a second? Is that a penalty, Ray? Ray, Not like we need it, let's go on, let's keep on going here. Galmedes, lovely stuff, terrible defending, not the prettiest goal from Casper Dolberg, but a lovely one nonetheless, keeping it humble, and the friendly ghost does what he does best, just absolutely trans- <laughs> Goes ahead, leaves his physical form for the transporeal, and somehow invisibles his way into the back of the net and lovely lovely stuff hopefully you know you know uh jorgensen didn't score any because 19 would go ahead and put casper dolberg atop once again in that race for the golden boot can he get 20 man can he get 20 i think that's a realistic can he get 30 you know we, we've been saying a lot of stuff of like mm, you know that isaac kid's been looking pretty good but his form his form has really tipped off and there we go if anything, the lower power on this actually helps him score this goal. Because if he does more power, I'm pretty sure it goes over. But allows, goes ahead, as you can see, accurate, accurate, right there. Onana actually gets a hand to it, gets the fingertips, but not enough to tip it over. And I'm saying, if it was a little bit more power, it probably would have gone over. So, there you guys go. We're going to bring in Eduardo Rossi and Donny Vanderbeek. Two proud, you know, day two comes uh, graduates. Let's see if we can get something going on right here. As you go ahead, linking up with Ziyech. Good patient play. Trying to spot it. Pins it to the donkey. Goes into the Vanderbeek. Klaassen goes ahead. What is the center backs doing here? They are just letting Dolberg run free. Oh! You know, unlucky. I wanted Dolberg to go ahead and get the, you know, I wanted Dolberg to go ahead and get the, uh, the, the hat trick right there. And I don't know how he didn't get this. Just a bit. Just a smidgen. I got to lower the shot power on mine, I guess. But Donnie Vanderbeek, right place, right time. Somehow goes ahead and squeaky bums it right underneath the keeper. Ah, oh, bad times. Bad times keeps. 
Bad times keeps him. basically instant impact on him. Lovely stuff. There we go. Bailey now linking up. Oh, Goldberg peeling off. And just maybe it's the poop on his elbows, man, but just something was in the water in the second half. Goldberg. Got to switch those cleats. Got to switch those cleats. Easily could have gotten himself three or four today, but he will settle for a delectable brace. And that is going to conclude the games for this episode. Man, that dude is short. How tall is that man? That man, is that man, that's like a child. They have a child with a fake goatee on the pitch. Somebody inspect that band's papers. Because that did not seem right. That did not seem right. But uh, once again, extraordinary things. After the Wonderkin of Casper Dolberg goes ahead, gets himself two goals, lovely stuff, two shots on target. Should have been four, four shots on target. Um, but 9.3 rating for him and another great performance. And nonetheless from the Ajax Football Club, 4-0 in the previous one, and now 4-1 to Excelsior, putting them to the sword. Not all too bad, 61% possession, 9 shots, 5 of them on target. That is what I want to see, and the final thing that I want to check out before I end this episode is, yes! Uh, watch the throne, Jorgensen, because Dolberg is back on top. And that is going to be it, lads. This is a short little episode. Just wanted to get it out, you know, as apologies for the poor way of the schedule. But back to it. In the next episode, we will do a press conference. So go ahead, leave your PCQs down below with the hashtag PCQs uh, in there. And I will go ahead and fix up the shot accuracy. That's, that's embarrassing. Here's a break. I'm starting a new job. You know, all that good stuff. Hopefully, if you did, you know, leave the dislike if you feel like I cheated, which is, you know, a more than understood from my point of view. Uh, I'd be a little bit annoyed as well. But, you know, if you can't forgive me, go ahead and smash out that like. Best of luck on all your Team of the Year pulls. I got... Oh, God. I cannot describe what I got. You know what? I'll make a video, man. I've been recording them, and I'll make a video. And let's just say one of them makes me tear my shirt. Like, just clean off. It's ridiculous. You get to see my chubby, uh, chubby, flubby body in all its marshmallow glory, guys. <laughs> so you guys can look forward to that. Anyway, my name is Vyaras. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Remember to stay yourself. Stay humble. And be weird. Blanket up.